Hello there, today in the series of land vehicles I'll give you a quick overview over the infantry fighting vehicles Marder, Bradley and AMX 10 RC because of current political developments. We don't deliver because the others don't deliver either. For a long time that was Chancellor Scholz's stance on Ukraine's demand for battle tanks and armored personal carriers here in Germany. Now there's a U-turn. Germany, the USA and France deliver Marder, Bradley and AMX 10 RC and thus set a clear signal. The announced delivery of light battle tanks from France to Ukraine has put the German government under pressure. Last Thursday, Chancellor Olaf Scholz then phoned US President Joe Biden and both agreed if France delivers, we deliver too. So Scholz wants to send Marder infantry fighting vehicles and Patriot anti-aircraft missiles to Ukraine after all, while the United States is supplying Bradley infantry fighting vehicles. The federal government and the White House announced this on Thursday after this phone call from Scholz and Biden. These are the first Western-style armored personal carriers to be received in Ukraine. So far, only Soviet models have been delivered to the war zone by Eastern European countries. So there's the Marder, the Bradley and the AMX 10 RC. These are the three vehicles with which Germany, France and the USA want to change the war. And that's what I want to talk about in this video. The Marder armored personal carrier was built during the Cold War and has been continuously modernized since then. It's armed with a 20mm cannon and with 600 HP and a combat weight of 35 tons, it's also well motorized. According to the Bundestag, the German federal parliament, infantry fighting vehicles such as the Marder and Puma are not battle tanks. Nevertheless, they are used on the front line and offer almost the same protection. Protected by the armor, soldiers can shoot from the vehicle in battle. The vehicles mentioned in the English Infantry Fighting Vehicle, so the IFVs, are usually equipped with a light cannon and more, more often with armor-piercing guided missiles. It was initially unclear how many martyrs are involved here. The Düsseldorf Armaments Company Rheinmetall had already offered 100 of the armored personal carriers for the Ukraine in the summer. In the meantime, 40 of them are destined for Greece, which is supplying Soviet-designed armored personal carriers to the Ukraine in this exchange. So another 60 martyrs could be handed over to Ukraine. And then let's talk about the Bradley. The delivery from the USA, the Bradley, also belongs to the group of armored personal carriers. That means an armored track vehicle with armed, uh, armor for use alongside armored infantrymen. It has a 600 HP diesel engine with a combat weight of 25 tons. Similar to the German Marder infantry fighting vehicle, the Bradleys have a fully articulating turret with a powerful outer cannon. A rapid fire machine can uh, cannon is also in uh, no is installed there, but Bradleys can also act as a platform to combat air targets or enemy battle tanks. And there too, it's still unclear how many of those are to be delivered. And then we still have France. French President Macron has described the AMX 10RC wheel tank as a light battle tank. They are mainly used for reconnaissance, but have a large cannon that almost reaches the caliber of the Bundeswehr's Leopard 2 main battle tank. The vehicle, which was built from 1976 and was traded as a tank destroyer at the time, is highly mobile with its three driven axles, so it's a 6x6 on roads and dirt roads such as in Africa and the Middle East. But it's far from a track vehicle in open fields, especially in the mud of Eastern Europe in, and, and so inferior there. And this also applies if an AMX 10RC with its 105mm gun should hit a main battle tank like the Russian T-72 or T-80. The term chosen by Macron after a video link with Zelensky that France is providing light battle tanks or chars de combat légère with the AMX 10RC is more a political signal than a technically correct description. If France wanted to give Ukraine a battle tank, a char de combat, it would have to supply its Leclerc. If the USA also wanted to give something like the German Leopard 2 to Ukraine, they would have sent their main battle tanks M1 Abrams to the front. 
All three tanks have significantly weaker protection than real ma main battle tanks, especially in direct confrontation with heavy tanks. But that doesn't change the helpfulness. I've already made a more detailed video about the Marder in the past and this will also follow for the Bradley and the AMX 10RC in the future. But I wanted to have this mix overview this week because of the current change in the political decisions. And that's why I decided to make the video like it was today and not like I did for the Marder. Then I would have had the Bradley today and the AMX 10RC probably next week. But this, this decision and the importance of the decision with a combination that all three are delivering because one started it. That was the important part and I could give you some information on the vehicles here, although I said tanks once, they're not tanks, they are armored uh, personal carriers or infantry vehicles um, and not, not tanks. That's the step we are all still waiting for and I'll see you in my next video. I'll be back.